welcome skills to Real Madrid. Uh, could you speak about this moment? You're kind of a nobody, and taking Zidane's job kind of feels weird. So many managers that could have done better than you, but you're here now. So uh, could you speak on it? Could you may maybe button up your shirt because nobody wants to see your fake chest hair? I first want to start this off by saying put some respect on my name. All right, because when I look back at Zidane's job here, he won three Champions Leagues. I'm better. Uh, I look at Mourinho's time here. I'm better. Uh, you know, Ancelotti and all these managers around the world, Klopp and, 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 and Guardiola, you know, there's three things that that, that, that really make you a good manager. Um, and there's only three managers that really have it in the world, right? Uh, Zidane, Guardiola, me. What do you see? Bald people, yeah? Bald, bald, no hair. Why? Because we know what we're doing. You know, we know what we're doing on the pitch. And to have the brain to be a manager, a good manager, you have to lose your hair because your hair falls out from thinking about it all the time. And I'm just thinking about it all the time. And then my hair fell out. And now I'm here at Madrid. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be the greatest manager that I ever coached Real Madrid. Uh, it doesn't matter what Zidane did. I'm going to build the most incredible team. When you think of a player, you think of him, he's going to play here. And Papito, uh, Kevin De Bruyne, uh, Goretzka, uh, 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 Koulibaly, uh, 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 you know, any good player in the world, they're going to play here. They're going to play here for me because that's what it is. That's what Real Madrid is. That's what Real Madrid's always been. I'm going to make Real Madrid the best team that's ever been played by before. You know, we think about R9, you think about these great players. I'm going to be the best team together. I'm going to be the best team together. I'm going to be the best team together. Okay, but, you know, do you see any talent here at Real Madrid already? Like, already saying very controversial things. Your players can get mad at you. Do you see talent? You have such a great number nine in Benzema. No, no, no. I see no talent. I see no talent. I see... Players that used to be has beens, wash, wash players, wash bins, win. But you know, just like I see a lot of that, I see a lot of, I see a lot of, uh, you know, I see a lot of old talent. You know, I think to myself like, yo, you know, when I think about these teams with all the R nines and the Cristianos, and there was always star players. Now I see a gordito Hazard looks like me. You know, I'm gordito. He's a little bit gordito. We're gorditos together. We can eat McDonald's and chill out and watch Netflix together. If Zidane, if a Hazard once come to the house, I don't, you know, it's okay. Um, and yeah, you know, I feel I feel uh, that, you know, Benzema's cool and he won three Champions Leagues in a row, but he's kind of old now. Uh, Sergio Ramos, great player. He's staying. I like Sergio Ramos. He's he's sick. Yeah, he's no, he's nice. I like that guy. Plus, he has a really nice beard. He has good hair, too. I wish I could have hair like that. Courtois is OK. I mean, he kind of sucked and then he was kind of good. Then he kind of sucked again. But, you know, keepers are keepers and they kind of suck. We'll build a good team around everywhere else and then we'll make him all right. Uh, but yeah, man, like right now, it's all about me showing off my skills as uh, the best manager in the world. So that's uh, that's kind of what I'm uh, able to do. And that's what I'm going to do. So if you got any more questions or I can just go do my job now. Uh, one more question, skills, before you get out of here. You know, there was reports that you nearly signed a Leeds United deal. Literally, like you had the pen and paper in your hand and then you uh, backed out. Can you uh, explain the situation? Yes, I can explain that situation. Uh I was going to sign for Leeds United because I know that in two seasons I can win the cha I could make the final of the Champions League. Nah, nah, I could win the Champions League. I could win the Champions League. On the most hardest of all kinds of difficulty, I can do it. It's no question. No problem. No problem for me. Um, no problem for me. Easy, you know? And I, I look at the situation and, 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 and I was about to sign the deal. I was excited to be... Um, in the in the UK, I was excited to eat some Nando's out there and um, some fish and shit. Ah, nah, I'm kidding. I hate fish. I hate fish. Don't hate fish. I hate fish. And I think it's a little bit weird that they call chips, you know, chips, you know, Dorito chips or Dorito chips, and they call their fry French fries. I, I think that's weird, but it's you know, you know, I love them. I love the UK. I love the uh, the UK people. I think they're fantastic people. I think they know a lot about football. Um, I think they can realize who the best manager in the world is. They know it's me. They know it's Gordito Skills. And, and to me, that's that's what's important. So, yeah, I wanted, you know, I was very close to signing. The the, the phone rang, and I answered, and I scratched my face a little bit because I ordered iPhone uh, 12, didn't come in, still got an 11, broke screen and stuff, you know, uh, uh, broke life. And I scratched my face a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I was in this situation where I was speaking to the guy from Real Madrid. I, I pick up the phone, he goes, hello, uh, is, is, puedo, hablar con, me, puedo hablar con Mr. Skills? And I say, uh, yeah, I see Mr. Skills here. And he tells me all this stuff about Zidane and how he does, and Zidane's not working. And I said, I, I'll take the job. I'll take the job. And I got up from the dinner with the Leeds guy with the pen in my paper. And I put it down. I said, speak to my lawyers, but I'll be back. Uh, 
I'll be back at the end of the year. next year, next season. Boom, I'll be here, and then, 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 then I'll, I'll do it. And it was between Leeds and Everton, very close. But uh, Real Madrid is the team I must defend now. So, um, without further ado, let's let me let me do my job. YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Double A Nine Skills, and look at the old school vibes, man. We got the green screen crack lacking. Oh, baby, this is what it used to be way back in the day, man. Uh, hey, my guys, welcome back. Hey, if you want your comments to be showcased and broadcast in the next press conference. Leave your comment down below. You're the media. You're the board. Get involved. You also know that the top comment on every single video is what we attempt to do. So if you guys tell me to go out there and buy Zlatan Ibrahimovic, then I'm going to attempt to buy Zlatan Ibrahimovic. My name is Manager because I didn't feel like taking the time to put my name skills in. And we are taking on Real Madrid job. Yes, I was going to start Leeds United. Yes, I was going to even possibly do uh, Everton. It was very, very close. My thought to myself, let's go ahead and bang Real Madrid out. They are in a terrible place. They keep losing. Uh, and we're going to make them great again. So with that being said, smash that big old thumbs up if you're excited. And in the comments down below, Everton and Leeds United for the next one. Because I think it's going to be Leeds United in a two-season career mode, the uh, road to glory, where we attempt to win the Champions League. Now, without further ado, as always, when we kick off a career mode, we got to sell some players. We don't need these backup goalkeepers, so we're going to go ahead and list them up. Also, I want you to know that we're going to be blowing this Real Madrid team up. It is time for change. We got Mendy. We got AKA Big Boy Marcelo. I don't know why I said AKA, but Marcelo, brother, from the bottom of my heart, te amo mucho, papá. Te amo mucho, papá. I love you very, very much. Also, this is next gen, just in case you were wondering. Yes, we are on the next gen, my boys. Marcelo is going to be on his way out simply because, well, dudes, to be frank with you guys, um... His time has come and gone. It's time to go. Fadan staying. Sergio Ramos also staying. Uh, we got a young 20, uh, 21 year old center back. Eh, this young man right here, bro. You know what I'm saying? 76 overall, 23. We either got to use him or we got to sell him. Same thing goes for Nacho Fernandez. You're on your way out, my boy. He is leaving. Uh, young, young player here going on loan. Ather Militao, flop or not? Nah? Uh, you know, uh, yeah, it's a weird one, bro. I don't think he's a flop. I don't think he's a flop, but I just don't know. Kind of a how is he our right back going forward? Ah, I mean, I guess he could be here. I guess Santos going on loan, bro. Um, this is the thing. Kind of a how or the young man. Where do you go with this one, bro? A little bit confused. I'm not sure yet. Casemiro. I mean, he is a stud. Might as well keep him. Left mid already out on loan. Another left mid that's also going on loan. Modric at the age of 34 years old. Expire ends in, a contract ends in 12 months. We will offer him a contract to then sell him, I think. We'll see. Tony Cruz, staying. Valverde, staying. Danny out on loan. I should recall him and then sell him. Isco. Man is being wasted. I'm selling him. Just hasn't got a fair share between or from any manager. So I'm not going to do that to him no more. I'm not doing that to him no more. If he's not our guy, then sell him. He's on his way out. Got a couple more players that we're going to throw on loan real quick. Couple young guys. Um, another youngster at the age of 21. Martin Odegaard. I think I said that right. Um, whoa, Gareth Bale's still here. Oh, no, he's not. He's at Spurs. Do they have him on loan? Guys, is, is the Spurs deal a loan one? I thought it was a permanent deal. It's a loan deal? I did not know that. Wait, 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 Loan deal at Spurs will last one year with a spell ending in the summer of 2021, according to... Oh, wow. He's... I thought it was a permanent deal. He's on loan. Okay. I did not know that. Hazard. Ooh. Ooh. Do I sell him or do I get him to work? Vinicius Jr. Asensio. Marvin. Marvin, you go on loan, buddy. Rodrigo. Vasquez. Ah, Lucas, you gone. We're selling Lucas. Oh, hey, here's the big one, Benzema. Oh, Benzema, Benzema. Ah, I'm not going to say. Yeah, I'm selling them. We're going to list them. We're selling them. Yeah, we're selling them, my boys. We're putting them up for sale. We are putting them up for sale. Um, 
Jovic, my boy's up for sale. Jovic at 22. Mariano, up for sale. Uh, <laughs> it's all, we're selling everyone, bro. Oh, we're selling everyone. Asensio, how many left wingers do we need, bro? We got four of them. We got too many. Junior or Asensio? Junior or Asensio? Junior or Asensio? Asensio's leaving. Junior's staying. Now, with that being said, what do you see here? I don't really see a good right winger. I see Rodrigo, but that's it. That's all I see. The young bot Rodrigo. So that's where we are as of right now. We're selling everybody pretty much, bro. I should list Hazard. I low-key should list Hazard, but I don't know if I'm going to. Now, I look at the squad, and I think to myself, is this what we want to run? Um, the answer is Benzema for Mbappe. Because <laughs> that's like the biggest rumor in real life as well. We got to make a superstar team, boys. I want to go into a 4-3-3 attacking. I think I want, that's what I want to run here. I want to do that, which would then leave... Casemiro in a bit of a hole, isn't it? Um, we have Valverde, who's a starter, in my opinion. Got to be a starter, Valverde. Uh, Tony Cruz. And maybe, listen, maybe that's the move. So now that we think about it, maybe Casemiro and Modric leave. Maybe that's the move. Maybe we sell Modric and we sell Casemiro and we move on. That could actually be a move. Can Hazard play on the right? Yes. Can Hazard play on the left? Yes. He could play either side. So can Junior. What does that mean? That means Hazard on the right. That means Junior on the left. That means Benzema. We're going to get a new striker. Then we got Varane, Sergio Ramos, Mendy, and Carvajal. That's where we stand as of right now. What do we want to do? Um, first thing up, we need a cam. We need a starting cam. A cam that deserves to wear the Madrid jersey. You guys know where I'm going with this. There's only one cam that is the best cam in the world. Kevin, big boy. De Br Did I spell Kevin wrong? Oh wait, my fault, my, my fault. De Bruyne, Kevin De Bruyne. All right, my boys, this is the deal that we must lock in. Big boy Kevin De Bruyne to Real Madrid. Nothing more to be said. I need this man. He needs to make everything tick tock for me. This is my guy. You're probably saying what's up with all these menus. It's next gen. So it's new, you know. Let's buy him. Kevin De Bruyne. Gonna wear 17 for Real Madrid. What's up, Guardiola? Oh, I got hair still. Oh, I, I meant to change my hair. Can I still change it or not? Hey, you want to do a swap? What about if I gave you Cass? What about you want Modric? Huh? Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. You want Modric? No, 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 no. Casemiro. Y'all want Casemiro? I'll give you Casemiro and 50 mil. Oh, 50,000. I mean, that sounds good if you ask me. Sounds good if you ask me. Um, I'll give you 50 in cash. Uh, 40 in cash? Casemiro and 40 million. Does that sound right? 100. Let's find out. Submit. Here we go. 103 plus Casemiro. That's kind of wild, bro. You kind of tripping. Yo, you actually kind of tripping. What about 70 Casemiro? Do we do that? What y'all saying? I feel like I'm overpaying at that point. Let me try it. 70 million in Casemiro. Come on now. Bang. Wow. 103 in Casemiro. That's 200 million for Casemiro. I mean, for, for Kevin De Bruyne. His value is 140. And they would want around 180. Let me try this. Let's give 80 million plus Casemiro. Done. 88 million. Quit playing games with my heart. 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 Um, woo, that's a big deal right there, my boys. We lose Casemiro, but we get Kevin De Bruyne. We only really lose 80 million. Oi, I like the 4 3 3 attacking, by the way. I think that's a clean formation. Kevin De Bruyne is more of like a CM they got him as, which is fine because we could run a 4 4 2 if we get another striker, but I don't really want to run a 4 4 2 because we got some solid midfielders. 
What are we saying? We're not using we're not using CDMs. Casemiro slow. Come on, boys. Yeah, buddy. And it begins how to build a mega team. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kevin, how you feeling, buddy? Kevin, how you feeling, buddy? Because you look good, dog. You look real good, Kevin. You look real good, buddy. Let's make this deal happen, man. Big boy Kevin De Bruyne. Sit at my table, my boy. Oh, you actually look good, Kevin. You look good. All right. Big boy Kevin De Bruyne. Um, we're going to make this happen. Here we go. Ready? Um, Four-year deal. You're kind of old, buddy. You're not old, but four-year deal is kind of clean. Um, No release clause. We're not about that life here, man. And his wages. Do we like it or not? <laughs> um, I kind of can I lower that bonus a little bit, bro? Hey, can we lower your bonus just a tad bit? Like, what's up? Oh, no, 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 not that bonus, the other bonus. Add your bonus, bro. Your bonus kind of high. Let's lower that down a little bit and then we can sign this thing. Come on, let's go. There it is, boys. There it is. Get it in. Get it in. Kevin freaking De Bruyne, Real Madrid. Come on, yo, Kevin is now with Real Madrid. All right, that was my most, that, that was a must. For me, that was a must. I had to make that happen. That's the most important thing I needed to happen, man. Big boy Kevin De Bruyne, now part of the squad, okay? Um, This one was crucial. Now we got Valverde, Kevin De Bruyne, and Tony Cruz. Hazard on one wing, Junior on another. My back line's feeling kind of Gucci. I just need a really good striker, Mbappito, and I need y'all to really help me fix the wings, and do I keep Modric and Tony Cruz or not? Nah? That's really, really important to me. I know a lot of y'all are probably gonna be like, is it really a big deal? It really is, um, because honestly, I, you know, I think there comes a time in every single team that's time to blow stuff up, and I feel like maybe it might be time uh, for this team to get blown up. So, uh, Kevin De Bruyne wore 17 uh, back at back at uh, 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 Men City. I wanted to give him 10. 10 wasn't really available. So we'll see if the number 17 is available for him. Uh, who wears that number? Lucas Vasquez, you can have that, buddy. Um, 17 for big boy Kevin De Bruyne. We look good, we feel good, and even better. Now, um, a winger is kind of important. Now, yo, do we believe in Junior, boys? Do we believe in Hazard? That's the real big question. I don't really want to do too much. I'm gonna be 100% honest with y'all. I'm gonna do the training in the next episode. I'll make sure all the trainings are taken care of like I did in the Arsenal career mode. How do we feel? How do we feel right now at this moment with with this team? How do we how do we how do we feel? I need I need y'all to blow that up in the comments down below. Who do you guys want? I don't want to go too far like I said. I'm gonna do a quick sim here Kevin De Bruyne's first game with the team. Do we like the fact that kind of a is our right back. I'm not really sure about that. Um, do we like the fact who scored Hazard with a double? I'm not mad at that. Do we like the fact that Junior's our left winger? I'm not sure about that. Do I like the fact that Benzema's my striker? I do not. I do not like the fact that Benzema's my striker. Matter of fact, I gotta get Mbappe here. I gotta get Mbappe. Because Real Madrid is Real Madrid. Real Madrid gets the best players in the world. I'm not gonna go much further because I'm gonna allow you guys to give in the comments down below and tell me who to sign, who to not sign, who to sell, who not to sell. We got an offer Benzema. <laughs> 115 million from Manchester United, man. Say less, baby girl. Ladies and gentlemen, do we accept it? Do I try to get like 120, 130 and accept it? Blow it up in the comments down below. Is this the moment we sell Benzema and we bring in Mbappe? It's been your boy Skills. Stay tuned to the channel because after this Real Madrid career mode, we begin the Leeds RTG career mode. It's going to be a fantastic event. See, um, I think it's going to be Leeds. It's going to be a, a smaller team in the Prem where we take them to the Champions League. It's going to be great. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Big old thumbs up. Make subscribe. Hopefully these vibes feel kind of nostal nostalgic. Is that the word? Because that's what we did with the green screen. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all watching. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Get involved in the press conference, though. You know what I'm saying?